Welcome back. We are here looking at the end of season. This is going to be my daily forecast so for Thursday, May 26, 2022. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So, full disclosure. So, let's go and look at the Nasdaq. So, as you can see, we did have a very volatile day today. We dropped all the way down towards 11.6 and then rallied all the way up towards 12k and at the current stage we're trading at 11.8 so we are kind of making um, uh, a bottom here and the question is whether or not this holds we have been selling off quite significantly the last eight weeks so um, rally at this point I wouldn't be surprised I don't know if we're gonna see something similar to this rallying up towards the 200 mgavs more likely we'll see more of the same and that is that we'll rally up towards the middle of the bullish band which is at this current stage at 12.4 k so at this point at point 600 points to the upside that is probably where we'll run into major resistance that's also where we fell the last time this is roughly at 12.5 and if we break above the 12.4 which is the simple 20 moving average but then the 50 moving average will most likely come into play which is at 13.5 k at this current stage if you look at the MACD, we can see that it has just crossed the signal line, becoming bullish. Stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI, which is at 35 at this current stage and has, uh, uh, well, increased a little bit. It is not as uh, low as it was uh, only a few trading days ago. But if we look at the weekly chart, we can basically see that we are extremely low in the RSI. We're at 28 and have been selling off significantly, and therefore it is at this current stage more likely that we'll see a minor rally than we'll see this fall apart. If we see this fall apart, then the 200 moving average is right down here at 10.7K, and that should be a massive barrier for this market. We haven't actually been toward, uh, tested the 200 moving average on the weekly chart all the way back towards uh, 2020. This was basically the crash um, uh, from the coronavirus, and uh, that is the place where we usually find massive amount of support we can also see the crash here in uh, 2018 so but if we do rally in the weekly we may rally up towards the middle of the of the bullish band that is at 13.7 uh, k at this current stage and it's probably as far as this will go rallying above here then the 50 moving average comes into play which is at 14.7 at this current stage we're anticipating um, a recession there is going to be significant tightening in monetary policy and basically all bad things um, but the market will recover at some point it technically just needs uh, to pull back if you just scroll out for the weekly or the weekly chart here you can just just see how parabolical the market became and therefore a, a pullback towards major support was always going to happen so let's look at the, the S&P 500. We can see also here that we have rallied quite a bit. We went rally, pulled back towards uh, 3.9K and then rallied all the way up towards 3.9 and then we settled at 3.96 at this current age. MACD has crossed the signal line and it has been a long time since we have have, have crossing here. We have to go all the way back towards the uh, mid of March to see a crossing and a rally in this market the same goes for the stochastic is bullish and so and the rsi is flat at this current stage but we may see this market uh, pull back at the middle of the bullish band which is roughly at 4k so pull, rally here we may see this pullback then we have the 50 moving average coming coming into play right here so we could see this market rally up towards 50 and then pull back and that is roughly at uh, 4.2 K and that's probably as far as this will go 200 moving average is rallying up here and I would be amazed if we got all the way up towards the 200 moving average but technical indicators are turning around showing signs of a bullish momentum and it's mainly due to the fact that we have been basically selling off quite significantly so this is the bottom and if this breaks then we are going to go significantly lower so let's look at the Dow Jones 
So Dow Jones as well, we hit the bottom here at the 30.6K. We are trading at 32.1K at this current stage and we are approaching the middle of the bullish band, which is moving in this direction. If we manage to break above here, then the 50 moving average will most likely come into play and we may see a pullback there as we saw it also up here. So that would be roughly at 33.3K. And if you look at technical English, we can see the MACD is becoming bullish at this point in bearish territory, stochastic is bullish and so is the RSI. Breaking below this candlestick, then we will see this drop significantly lower. We can look at the weekly chart for the uh, for the Dow and the 200 moving average, it will mostly be where we'll find major support if we fall that. So that's roughly at uh, 29K. So let's look at the European market and uh, Yes, it's going to be the daily chart. We can see that the DAX is just still hanging on in this channel. So top here did get above uh, three days ago, but basically pulled back straight away. And we see the bottom here of the channel, roughly give or take here. So at this current stage, we are testing the top of the channel, also the 50 moving average. And if we break below here, then we may see, may see this drop all the way down to 13.2K uh, or uh, 13K. If you look at technical indicators for the DAX, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. Breaking above the 50 in this, and then we may go challenge these previous tops here at 146 and roughly at 14.9, and then the 200 moving average, which is at this current stage at uh, give or take 15.1k. So the bottom to the bottom, if we break below here, or long term, we may see this just go back and forward within this channel and head all the way down towards the very lows here, which is roughly at the 12.4k. If you look at the VIX, the VIX has fallen today. We have had a lot of volatility, actually volatility index, so strange to call it volatility, but there is a lot of, uh, of uh, nervous investors out there and, uh, and due to the fact that there's constantly bad news and the market is just falling cliff every second day, then yes, there is gonna be a lot of fear in the market. At this current stage, the VIX is trading at 28.3, the 50 moving average should offer um, support. If that breaks, then we have the 200 moving average down here at 23.22. If we look at technical indicators, they are bearish at this point. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. So we may see this test the 50, which is here. We may test this the uh, 200 moving average, which is gonna be here. And that is probably as far as this will go. This has been building up for higher volatility now for quite some time and if we drop towards the 200 moving average we may see this market continue up towards 40 which usually means that we have a significant pullback also in the market so we may see a short-term rally uh, if we just drops towards the bottom and then heads towards 40 then it's probably got a good indication that the market will continue dropping if you look at the 10 year it is Drop, has dropped below the 50 moving average and has stayed underneath the 50 moving average. So a uh, very um, big change in actually the tenure as it has went technically parabolic here. But you could actually make the case that we're forming a flag pattern here and that in the long term, we will see uh, this market continuing higher above a tree. If we break above, this candlestick here which is at 3.1 give or take and then this might go significantly higher but that also means that we need to break above the 50 moving average yet again breaking below here and then the Fibonacci retracements could help us and guide us where we are most likely going to go 38.2 uh, is right here at the 2.5 and the 50 down here at the 2.4 and then we have the 61.8 down here at 2.2 and that is probably as far as this will go as the 200 moving average will also come into play within the, this area. MACD is bearish, stochastic is, is bearish as well and RSI is bearish as well. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our 
newest videos and good luck and thank you very much.